Israel has rescued four hostages in, from central Gaza eight months after they were kidnapped by Hamas terrorists at a music festival. The rescue mission was the largest since Israel declared war on Hamas and America helped. People in Israel danced in the streets celebrating the rescue of three men and a woman held captive by Hamas for all that time. All four were taken by helicopter for medical checkups before being reunited with their loved ones. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed Israel won't stop until the terrorists release the remaining 120 hostages it's believed to be holding. Some have died. Meanwhile, President Biden congratulated Israel on the successful rescue during a news conference with France's president. Don't stop working until all the hostages come home and a ceasefire is reached. That is essential to happen. Israelis have rejected the term ceasefire, but as negotiations continue, CBS News has learned that they would be open to naming it a sustainable calm. The White House says it provided support for the successful rescue mission. CBS says it came mainly, CBS, excuse me, learned it came mainly from the form of intelligence support and that the U.S. military did not participate.